and others to maybe add some comments too about what are we doing to uh, partner in the way of supporting some of the initiatives that, that Oscar mentioned um, around our admissions practices. You know, what are we, what are we um, hoping to achieve in that, in that vein? Well, I can certainly start. Uh, there's a lot to say on this topic, I would say. Uh, the biggest thing is just making this a community conversation. I mean, when Oscar was using his arms to sort of show that this is uh, something that involves all of us at this table, that is very true. This is something that we talk about uh, from the chancellor and provost on down in terms of how we can really uh, continue to be, uh, to assess the work that we do. Where are we going for our yield events? How are we trying to recruit students? How can we make sure that the admissions team has the tools that they need? How can we make sure that students, once they arrive, that they have a positive experience if they want to stay here? It's not just recruiting them, but it's wanting us needing to retain them as well, uh, which is so critical of that, that part of that equation. Um, so I think there's many things that we can do, and I'm, I'm sure my colleagues have lots of ideas. Well, let me jump in on a couple of things that are very high priority for graduate students, where I'm you know, just very grateful for the um, partnerships. Um, doing the um, strategic planning, the biggest issue on graduate students' minds is housing. And so the campus plans to increase the amount of housing available for graduate students that can't come soon enough. Um, and that's something that I'm really looking forward to more interaction on because this is really important. And then um, our graduate student body has changed significantly in the last few years so that now uh, more than half of our graduate students are professional students. And I'm just thrilled at the collaboration and support that um, the financial aid office has been providing for our um, graduate students. I'm looking at Cruz there, who is just an incredibly important partner. Um, Jennifer French and Nicole uh, Legrandeur took time last week to come and educate graduate um, student um, affairs officers about financial aid services. So these are concrete examples of partnerships that are really making a difference for students, and I'm so excited about them. I'll just say that, that as we move forward with our um, conception of discovery being the fundamental um, or underlying principle for, for the undergraduate experience, that the partnerships with, with um, all three of my colleagues here, and the units that, that report into them, like the, the Public Affairs Center, the, or Public Service Center, the um, Career Center, um, various um, support programs that, that exist in equity and inclusion, are really crucial to ensuring um, what I think was Oscar mentioned, the equitable, uh, or David may have, the equitable um, access, equitable experience um, that our students, that our undergraduate students have. And we can't, the academic side of the house can't do this alone. The, the, when I met with a, a number of the undergraduate deans over the summer and asked them where they needed help, there were two interesting things. One was a, a really loud, clear plea from every single undergraduate dean for a, a stronger partnership with a career center, particularly around internships and placements, and thinking creatively in that space. And then the second piece that was a little more disconcerting was half of the deans knew that we had a public service center, but half of them didn't. And I thought, wow, that to me says we have a lot of work to do to ensure that they know the resources that are available to their students, um, that they don't have to go it alone in many cases. So um, there's a lot of positive energy around collaborating, but we also have work to do in making sure that folks actually know what resources are available and how to partner um, with, with each of the units that's there. Absolutely. And Kathy, I'll, I'll actually uh, follow up with a question for you, too. You, you mentioned, you know, career and other potential co collaborations and public service, especially around community engaged scholarship that needs to happen. Um, but can you tell more about this notion of the undergraduate discoveries that you kind of uh, highlighted, too? Sure. So for those of you who have taken a chance to look at the um, strategic plan, um, you'll see that, that this notion of discovery being, being fundamental to the undergraduate experience or to the student experience in general, because our graduate students are clearly engaged in discovery. Um, as are our faculty and many of our staff, um, that, that we, it really means rethinking in some ways how we talk about Berkeley. An end goal um, of this whole transformation would be, for example, that students would not necessarily ask each other what they majored in, but what did you do for your discovery experience? 
that students would choose to come to Berkeley because they would have an opportunity to co-create with faculty, to co-discover, to do their own independent projects, to define for them what is an interesting um, problem to be assessed and, and to really think about their entire four years or two years as, as, a, as a journey towards a, a sort of culminating experience that would allow them to be um, creative and inventive. And we've, we have a broad set of ideas around this um, that we've, we've coined a, a, a four, four things that we're looking at. One is the notion of connection, so connect. Um, how do students connect to Berkeley? Now that's all of our pre-admissions outreach. What are we telling them? What are the kinds of messages we want to send? Um, how do they connect once they're here? That's Golden Bear Orientation. That's Berkeley Connect. It's freshman seminars. It's your first year programs. It's the Res Life programs in particular. Um, we want them to discover. And that really is the heart of the academic programs, but it reaches out into their co-curricular activities. We want them to engage with each other, with their communities, with the broader community in the Bay Area, with problems that really drive um, our, our foremost in our society at the moment. What are the kinds of things we're going to look at for the next 10 years? Um, and finally, we want them to reflect. We want them to think about their education, to own it, to reflect on it, to make decisions that um, really matter in the long run, and not just be thinking about what they're going to do the day after they graduate, but in fact what they're going to do or how they're prepared for the next 60 years of a lifetime that we can't possibly know what, they're, what life is going to be like in that time frame. But if we provide them with the right kinds of tools to be adaptive, to be creative, to be inventive, that's our goal. And I think it this is all of us to start thinking and, and talking about this in a very different way than we have. We want our Berkeley undergraduates to have the same high quality of experience that our graduate students and our faculty and staff have in terms of the work that they do. And that's a goal, to make the Berkeley undergraduate experience really at the top of the, the list in terms of you know, best universities for students. Can I say one Please go ahead. Thing. And, and I just want to say, and I, I say this is where we need to work together on, under, on making sure that as we create these opportunities w with the Academic Senate, that we're not perpetuating structures that marginalize certain students. And that's where collaboration needs to come in to make sure that we're understanding where students are coming from. So that these opportunities are advancing their education and their growth rather than creating further um, uh, inequality. So, so, so I just, and that's where the work happens and that's why we work together. Absolutely. Yeah, the equity experience is definitely important, and I want to maybe invite Fiona to chime in too from the graduate perspective. You know, where, where do you see the importance of discovery um, and discernment and reflection uh, in the graduate student experience as well? Um, well, first of all, I, I noticed that the time said so that you were um, indicating that we're limited on time, right? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a rebel, so I'm pushing it a little if, bit. If, if, so so I, I, I don't want to overstay my welcome, you know. Um, so the Graduate students um, are an important part of the vertical learning communities in which many of our undergraduates will um, actually participate in one, of, one or more of their um, discovery experiences. And this really is a win-win in that um, graduate students um, get as much, if not more, out of mentoring um, undergraduates. Um, than the undergraduates who are being mentored. 